Hi everyone, I'm so happy to have you join me today. Well, this is going to be a fun video. Last week I did a video on a topper or toppers, a reaction video, and today I want to share more about toppers. I'm gonna to take you with me all the way back to the purchase of my very first topper, all the way up to the very last topper that I reviewed. I'll link them all below just to save you time. You don't have to search for them. And I'll also link to the places where I either bought them or where they were sent to me for review. I think toppers are for everyone. Whether you have no hair, whether your hair is thinning, whether you just don't want to go to the salon for that touch-up, they are lifesavers. So before we go any further, I'm Angela, the creator of this channel. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, I review silver gray, white hair, toppers, hair pieces, and sometimes I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair. I do want to share that this is not a sponsored video, but some of the toppers that I'll be showing you today were sent to me for review. I've got lots to share with you today. We're going to talk price. We're going to talk how the toppers feel. We're going to talk about all of it. And something is going on out there. All of a sudden, it seems to me from what I can see on my channel, that toppers are hot, hot, hot. And so I do think that there are a lot of people out there right now that are either giving a first look, a second look, or a long look at at toppers. And I wonder what you think. Have you been looking more for toppers lately? Well, you probably have been if you found if you found this video. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you five different toppers today. And as I said before, where you can purchase them. Hang with me to the end of the video and I'll tell you what topper I have on my head, including how to take it off and how to put it back on. So the first topper that I want to show you, I purchased from Godiva's Secret Wig. Share my screen with you. And this topper, I purchased this topper, I think four or five years ago, knowing really nothing about toppers. And I have to tell you that I feel like I luck, I feel like I lucked out uh, because I love this particular topper. Uh, I filmed this, this uh, review in my bedroom. This was one of my very, very first reviews. That's why it looks so different. But um, I will link that for you. Uh, below and you can see the full and you can see the full video I think I actually reviewed this topper maybe two or three times but this particular time that you're seeing here I put a braid in it it's not yellow at all and I mean not at all I promise so it's just the monitor and so that was the very first topper that I purchased I purchased the Godiva topper at Godiva secret and they still are carrying that same topper today. I'll link it below. And this is the color that I purchased, Silverstone, and it's also available in white. I have not seen the white up close and personal, but uh, make sure you, you look for the mono long top. I will link it to you for you. I will link it for you below. And by the way, I want to quickly add that this video is not to promote any one particular brand. My goal in this, although they're all wonderful brands, my goal in this video is just to show you a few differences at a couple of different price points so that you can make an informed decision no matter where you buy your topper. So let's move on to topper two. Okay, so last week you might remember if you were here that I did a video on toppers and that topper that I'm wearing there, I had purchased in two different colors. Uh, it's the Long Length Whisper Light Topper Hair Piece by Paula Young. Again, I'll link that for you below. Now, I'm going to compare this topper with the Godiva topper, this topper that you're seeing right here in this video. They're both good toppers, but this this topper that you're seeing right here that I that I talked about last week and that Coco talked about in her channel as well. Um, let me share my screen again. 
So as I mentioned, that was the Long Length Whisper Light Topper Hair Piece by Paula Young. Okay. I think I might have mentioned this last week. So what's the difference between what you're seeing here on sale at $50 and the Paula Young, excuse me, and the Godiva Secret Mono Long Top? Well, as soon as you hear the word mono, you know that there's going to be a big piece of um, a filament that's going to look like your hair is growing right straight through the top of your head. So naturally, that's that's a material, that's labor. Um, this is a very popular topper here that you're seeing. And this is the one that I talked about last week. But you see what happens when you when I move, or yeah, you can see the white the light bouncing off of her fibers. That can be a little bit problematic with some um, pieces, let's say, that are at a lower price point. It all comes back to what kind of fibers they're using, what was the workmanship. But having said that, I mean, this obviously is not going to be the same quality as human hair or all kinds of work that's done in the cap, whether it's a lace front, whether it's monofilament, all that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I will put this one at a 7. Especially with the white, I noticed that you have to be careful how you part it. Because the crown, sometimes you can see part of the wefting in the crown. However, I have white hair. I'm not trying to put white over black hair or even you know dark gray hair so I can get away with a little bit more I would definitely wear this I have worn this several times and I would continue to wear it but she's not my favorite okay and now I also purchased that that same topper as I just held up here in silver and so the video that you see on your screen now Again, this was done a few years back, and you can see how shiny, and I talked about this last week, you can see how shiny that wig is. And I didn't even really have a lot of studio lights going on then. So, again, you could knock that down with some baby powder or bat Batiste uh, dry shampoo or any kind of dry shampoo. I use Batiste in the original. And... Um, both of these present quite differently. Again, they were very shiny when I first got them, but I knocked it back with the shampoo, with the dry shampoo. Again, I will link that down below for you. Okay, and then you can see I did another review of Raquel Welch's Style Forward, a 16-inch topper. And in this case, again, I'll link it below, and this was a lot of fun to wear this topper you could pull it back, you could pull it up. Beautiful hair fibers on on that topper. You could see me pulling out my own hair, my own bio hair, up and over the edge of that topper. So it ends up being very believable. If, you, if you're pure white, uh, love, love that topper. All of these toppers that I'm showing you today, I love every single one of them, and I would wear every single one of them. And then I did another review of Raquel Welch top top billing Raquel Welch top billing color 5660 and I had actually done a live stream which in the in the live stream I I didn't feel that I was doing justice to that topper so I retaped it and that's what you're going to see in this video here so these two Raquel Welch pieces I have one more to show you and then I'm going to talk about texture and all kinds of other things but um I love the fibers on the Raquel Welch toppers. And finally, this last topper that you're looking at is from the Jean Renault collection, Top Coverage Straight Topper 12 Inch. And again, I will link that below for you. Love this topper. This is a different color for me. I, I'm in the... I'm in the blonde family here, 101-48T. I think that this 
this uh, topper might have been sent to me for review because I don't think I would have chosen anything with 101 which is yellow in it so I was pleasantly surprised and I'll and if if it was sent to me for review I'll let you know that below but I was pleasantly surprised that I did like the color I can see here on the hairline I could have probably incorporated my own hair with that or just used the lace front if, if I remember correctly I believe that this was a lace front I think that it probably was but um, clearly in my opinion uh, depending upon your your skin tone I seem to carry the whites and the silvers better than anything with yellow in it but then there are a lot of a silver gray white wig wearers that were blonde or maybe redhead or um, very 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 light brown and they are looking for more of the yellow or the platinum family so just be aware of that color when whenever you're looking for alternative hair consider your skin tone and consider what the tone of your hair was in its biological state before hair color before any of that because that's usually a pretty good clue what's going to look good on on you so where can you find the last three wigs if you head over to wig studio one again this is not a sponsored video but if you head over to wig studio one you can find top billing 12 inch you can find Raquel style forward 16 inch topper by Raquel Welch so the fibers are going to be very similar in these two toppers let me find that color so the shading or the color will be very similar between these two toppers and I will show you that in a moment so now I want to give you my final thoughts on these five toppers before I do I I told you that if you stay to the end I would tell you what's on my head what's on my head is my very first purchase from Godiva secret wigs and it is the mono long topper in Silverstone. I love, love, love this topper. She's one of my top two that I love the most. Why? Rather than tell you why, let me show you why. Um, first of all, I love the price point. She's got only four snaps. And you're going to see it as soon as I can find them. Then I just unsnap them. If you follow me, you know that I'm always talking about it stays and how I have to wear it stays pretty much every time I, I use a, um, pretty much any time I wear a wig, even a topper, because everything rides back on me. Okay. So one of the reasons that I really appreciate this Godiva product is, first of all, she has a monofilament top. Can you see that? If I, you could see my finger through there, see that? So when you put that on your head, it's going to make it look like your hair is growing right straight out of your head. So now you can see me in all my not glory <laughs> and I'm gonna put it back on for you so I don't do anything to my hair you just saw me I just uh, comb it back and then you're gonna take the front of it the very front the bangs and they're going to face you okay now if I was going to wear this all day I would put some hairspray on just so that those fibers lay flat but for the sake of time. All right, so now all the clips are open. The label is downward. The bangs are facing me. Okay, so now I'm just going to find my, now I know this is parted on the left side, so I'm gonna find my left part and I'm gonna bring it pretty much all the way down to the edge of that part. And then I'm going to find that clip and I'm going to put, put my thumb right underneath the clip and I'm going to make sure you hold on to the top and I'm going to push up and it's going to grab some of that hair. And good I have a secret wig, so whoever's doing the manufacturing, the clips are wonderful. And then I find the second one, 
very easy. I don't know if you could hear that snap. Then the one in the back, push up, push down, and another one in the back, push, push down on the top of the wig, then push up on the clip and down. So now it's on. And now all I have to do is decide where I want to part it. And then I'm done. I am done. Now remember I said I part, it's parted on the left side. Look at that. And I'm talking and, you know, all that. So it's always going to take longer when you're doing show and tell. So the comb is basically right there. Now I could have put it back further on my head if I wanted to and then have more of my bang coming in. And then, of course, you could take some of your own hair, tuck it behind. And I love how it's shaded here. You see that? That gradual shading. I love how it feels. It feels like, I mean, for synthetic hair, it feels just like real hair to me. I'm gonna do a spin for you in a moment because I know some of you probably haven't seen my other video. And my hair in the back, I'm sure, is longer than this. I'm sure it is. Yes, I can see it sticking out. I might have to hit that with a little bit of hairspray. I use Tresemme hairspray on my wigs. Why do I do that? Well, I have a dear friend who is a hairdresser in the African-American community. And I was sitting in her, and I was in her salon one day, and she was putting a wig on someone, and then somehow we got talking about hairspray. She said, I use Tresemme all the time. And so I use Tresemme all the time, and as far as I'm, I can see, it has not hurt the fibers of this wig. But that's why I'm saying I'm not recommending it, because they say you're supposed to use products that are designed for wigs. Okay, but... That might not be in your budget because that's a little more expensive. So let me do this spin for you. I definitely need a trim. So you can see that there's quite a bit of coverage, right? You can't see any tracks nothing. What you're seeing under there is just my white hair. And so, and so because of that, that's one of the reasons that sometimes when I wear a wig, even a higher end wig, even a wig that might be three or four hundred dollars and a strong wind blows, you can see the wefts or the tracks um, in the wig. With something like this, I just think toppers are well, I think I'm starting to understand why toppers are hot, hot, hot. Plus, the price point is considerably less depending upon what you get. I think it looks pretty... It, it's a lot better than having really thin hair on top, right here on the scalp, and you're feeling so self-conscious because, you know, you know. So, so I just did this very, very quickly. You saw how I did it, and... Like I said, if you want to incorporate a little bit of your own bio hair up there, nobody's ever going to know. My hair is kind of separating there because I had some, it, it stays on. It's not perfectly clean hair. Okay, so you could also use one of these pick the hair right up on top of the head. You can use a barrette. These, I think I did all of these in these videos, but the swell thing is you can use these square headbands. Put a headband on a topper, on a wig, nobody's ever going to know that you have alternative hair, helper hair, hair piece, topper, whatever you want to call it. These are available by squarehairbands.com. Link it for you below. 
So now let me just talk for a couple of moments about the, the Raquel Welch toppers. So here is the Style Forward 16 inch topper. And this is that video. And here it is in my hands right here. So you can see that in the video, in my video, it looks very white. It is not. And the color is silver 5660. There is no yellow, but she looks like she looks like sand that you would see on the most beautiful beach in the world. That white sand that kind of has a just a very uh, brown is not the right word. If I said brown, I take it back. It's that's not it. But here's the wonderful thing about this topper. She needs a good combing. She also has, I have to put my glasses on, I can't see. <laughs> she also has a huge monofilament top. So you can part her in the left, in the center, on the right. And they really did place the comb strategically all around, you can see, the perimeter there of the top. And again, with the mono top, you can see see my finger right there. That's like you're looking right through to your scalp. The hair is very believable. It's not shiny. That is one big difference between as soon as you go up a price point, the fibers are going to get more believable, let's say. I don't want to say better, just different, more believable and without a lot of that shine. There's absolutely no shine on this topper. I have had this topper on my head where I pulled my hair back and I wrapped the and I wrapped the hair around the ponytail. It looked absolutely beautiful. And I love this topper. Uh, the only big difference, well it's, it's not the only big difference, but it's quite a big difference because again this topper right now, it is on sale, um, but it's still $323.75. Okay, so $209 right now uh, compared to where did we say compared to three hundred and twenty three dollars so is it more that is it worth more than a hundred dollars I have to honestly say yes because you're getting more area you're getting more area to part the hair. I don't care if you get five clips. You can buy clips for, for nothing and sew them on yourself. But that is going to make the big difference. So you could wear it um, behind your own hair. Uh, this particular one you could wear right down. You could absolutely meet your own hairline and wear it like that. Because remember, you don't have to keep it parted in the center. You could part it left or you could part it right. Uh, and so, and you could also pull this part back. So you could brush it back, make a beautiful ponytail, pick it up. Just a beautiful addition to your wig wardrobe. Okay, so that's the transformations in the length 16. And then I also had the transformation in the length this one has a different name. This one is called Top Billing. Now, Top Billing, you can see, Top Billing is only 12 inches long. Okay? But if you look at these fibers, and if you look at the hair side by side, you can see it looks very, very similar. So, Basically, it's the length, and it's, they both have the monofilament top. The coverage is virtually the same on both of them. So it's basically, you're just talking about the length. But a lot of times when you get your wig, there's just so much hair. And it just makes you feel like, oh, the whole world knows that I have a wig on and I can't, I can't do this. With toppers, a lot of times it's, they're not as dense. So, okay, so the very last one I want to show you is the Jean Renault topper. 
they call it top coverage 12 inches now first thing that I notice I did a whole review on this I will link it below mm, it smells so good I treated it before I put it away with some sim what do they call that simply styling it's the silicone that helps protect the fibers well, look at that it's a tiny bit shiny tiny bit but nothing off-putting nothing that says costumey or anything like that but let's hold it up against the Polly Young this is the Polly Young whisper light now to be fair the Jean Renault is is uh, is heavily highlighted lots of different colors in here where this is really just basically one color with some kind of toning that gives it a depth but this is definitely when it comes out of the box is a lot shinier and you saw the review with the one that's like this in the silver so they do shine so let's see what is the price point on this particular one here it is 101.48 so 101.48 is pearl white when I see white it gets my attention light natural gold brown so you know there's going to be a, a little bit of it's gold it's not yellow it's it's not yellow 75% um, gray blend with pearl white tips retails for 424.68 over at wig studio one again not being paid to say that the, the hair length is 14 inches synthetic fiber she's got the full monofilament top there so you're going to be able to part it again anywhere in here and then it has some very interesting it's got it's hand tied so it has that beautiful monofilament top lots of room for parting they've got the, the comb right there so I don't necessarily have to wear it stays if I don't want to I can I have a, that beautiful lace front they can pull down right below my widow's peak and then it has a gorgeous hand tied cap all hand tied each hair individually placed in the cap and that's why you're going to see a price point of four hundred and something dollar four hundred and twenty four dollars marked down from four ninety nine so it's the absolute best topper that I have obviously is it my favorite topper by no means no because some days I want to wear a topper like this and some days I want to wear a topper like this but what you're paying for is the workmanship you're paying for the mono filament top you're paying for the hand tied base you're paying for the lace front but if your budget does not allow you to spend almost five hundred dollars then these are all different price points today the top billing was 257 12 inches so you've got the 12 inches top billing 257 or you've got the 12 inches Jean Renault 424 with all the bells and whistles and then you have the another price point here 16 inches 323 still too much then let's go back and let's go visit Paula Young where you can get the whisper light which is the one that I showed you here and I did a video on it of the two colors the white and the silver and here's again I'll put these links for you below and this one comes for grays it comes in number 44 which is like a salt and pepper comes in 51 56 and then the white which is what I just showed you but right now for my money my favorite has got to be the mono long top at today's price is 209 all these prices can change but just to kind of give you an idea you know of what of what things sell for and again if we go back over to Paula Young and you see the one for $49 the other thing is the shininess now 
it's not as shiny as you're seeing on that model, but it's pretty shiny out of the box. So as I said, you're going to have to use something on there to knock back that shine. So if, you're, if your budget absolutely does not allow you to say, come over here for this one, then go ahead and get this one and then just knock down the shine with whatever you want, even any kind of powder, white talcum powder, anything like that. I just use Batiste because it's easy and I can spray it. So here is my spreadsheet for these five different toppers. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but I thought that it would give you an at-a-glance view and for my money, the real winner here is Godiva's Mono Long at $209. You can see all the specifications here. Um, I think that of all of them, that's probably the one that uh, is the winner. The Paula Young, you can see, uh, yes, wonderful price point, but very shiny, and you need to knock that down with some baby powder or dry shampoo. But the density on all of these toppers is is very good. I think I like the density the best on Paula Young. That seems to be the most believable in terms of what would match your own hair. It's not too much. It's not too little. And the second runner-up for density would be Godiva Mono Long, highlighted in yellow here. Now, all the way down to the Jean Renault, the priciest um, topper of all of them, well, there's a reason that it, ha it has that price point. The lace front, the hand tie, the single monofilament, very large base width. So if you're very, very thin or even almost balding on the top, uh, you would mo most likely reach for something with a really wide width on the base. So I hope that helps. Remember, prices are always subject subject to change, and some colors really might be out of stock, especially the silver, gray, white family. Those pieces always fly out the door. If they're not there, just bookmark it, come back on a regular basis, and um, you'll find your piece. So I know that there was a lot of information. I hope that somebody got something out of it, especially if you're new to toppers. I just think that they're wonderful for, for so many reasons. I just want to tell me, what do you think? What What's your favorite topper? Who Who's your favorite brand? Um, do you like long toppers, short toppers? I always like to know what you think. You could wear this virtually all day and you'll be fine. Those those little combs, they don't hurt my hair. I don't know if they would hurt your hair, but they don't hurt my hair. And my hair is very fine. I want to thank okay. everyone for so, watching. I Just a quick reminder that I do have gently used wigs for sale over at my website, someonewithgrayhair.com. And it, while you're over there, if you circle shop, shop will bring you right to this page and then scroll down and you'll see any wigs that I have there for sale. And I hope that this video has helped you at least in some small way to save some time and to save some money in your wig journey. So until I see you again, remember, look for the silver linings. Bye-bye.